Sa video natin ngayon, we will learn how to use only the following formulas to solve any problem involving cantilever beams, whether uh, slope or deflection yung hinahanap. Now, we have this first equation or formula. The deflection at the free end, if we have a load P applied dito sa pinakadulo, we have PL cubed over 3EI. So, uh, this is a very common formula. Perhaps alam nyo na to. Then, for the second one, we have a figure where uh, P is applied at a distance A from the fixed support. So, our formula for the deflection is PA squared over 6EI multiplied by 3L minus A. Then, for the slope at B, our formula is PA squared over uh, 2EI. Now, we can change A. Ayan, we can change it into X. And then, let's use the concept of derivatives para makuha natin yung slope from the deflection formula. Kasi di ba alam natin na slope is the derivative of deflection. I mean, the slope equation is the derivative of the deflection equation. So using that information, we can use this formula to arrive at this one. Then for the last one, although mahirap i-absorb kung saan siya magagamit, we have to memorize the general formulas involving applied moments at any distance x from the fixed support. So we have mx squared over 2ei for the deflection. Then for the slope, we have ml divided by ei. Or you can also make this mx divided by ei. So perhaps let's start with this one since mas madali siyang kuna ng derivative. So knowing that the deflection equation is mx squared uh, instead of m sub o, we can just use the variable m divided by 2ei. If we differentiate the deflection in terms of x, then we can arrive at the slope. So differentiating this with respect to x, we have d delta over dx is equal to the slope. So differentiate x, x squared becomes 2x. So we have 2 times mx. Ayan then divided by 2ei. So, 2 cancels. So, the slope becomes mx divided by ei. Ayan. So, x can be any distance from the fixed end. So, dito makikita mo na yung slope is just the derivative of deflection. Now, how about for point loads? Point loads applied at a distance a from the fixed support. We have the following formula. Itong dalawa. So how do we get here from this equation? What we have to do is just replace A by a variable X. Since we will be differentiating with respect to X. So now we have PX squared multiplied by 3L minus X. Just replace all A values by X. Then divided by 6EI. Ayan. Ito yung deflection equation. So, differentiating delta with respect to x, we would have yung p over 6ei, constant yan sila. So, p over 6ei, ayan. Then, i-bracket na lang natin yung x squared multiplied by 3l minus x. Ayan. Now, you have the choice to expand this or pwede rin na uh, gamitan mo ng product rule. Now, I will just expand since madali lang naman, x squared lang yung i-distribute natin. So, we would have p over 6ei, then x squared times 3l, then x squared multiplied by negative x, so minus x cubed. So, differentiating this equation, P over 6EI, this is just a constant term. Ayan. So, x squared becomes 2x. Then, just retain the constant term, 3L. Ayan. Then, x cubed becomes, uh, for a while, minus 3x squared. Ayan. So, after which, we have P over 6EI. Then, notice na common yung 3 sa dalawang expressions. So, factor out lang natin. We have 
3, then multiplied by 2xl for this one, then minus x squared. Ayan. So, yung 3 dyan, magka-cancel with 6. So, we would have p divided by 2ei, then this is 2xl minus x squared. So, ngayon, uh, replacing x by l for the full length, this is the slope at the free end. We would have p over 2ei. Then, replacing this by l, we have l times l magiging 2l squared minus replacing this by l, l squared. So, 2l squared minus l squared gives us l squared. So, we have p l squared divided by 2ei. Ayan. So, dito galing yung formula for the slope dito sa free end. Ayan. Essentially, galing lang sa deflection formula, tas kinuha lang natin yung derivative. So again, yung L dyan can be any distance from the fixed end. So kaya, uh, ginawa siyang A dyan. A. So, these formulas are more general. Sige, so uh, let's proceed. Let's try solving this problem just using the following formulas. So let's start with a very simple problem. Now, for the beam shown daw, determine the slope and deflection at the free end and also the slope and deflection at the mid-span. So, here's what we can do. To obtain the slope and deflection at the free end, we can just apply directly this formula. PL cubed over 3EI and also uh, PL squared over 2EI. So, medyo mandali lang yung number 1. So, for the slope... We have a force of 100 kN. Again, uh, PL squared over 2EI. So, 100. Then, our length is 6 meters. 6 squared divided by 2EI. Ayan. Then, for the deflection, we have PL cubed divided by 3EI. So, this would become 100 times 6 cubed divided by 3 EI. Ayan. Input mo na lang sa calculator. So, this will give us 1,800 KNM cubed divided by EI. Then, for the other one, we would obtain 7,200. Ah, for a while. Uh, M squared pala to. Slope kasi. Ayan. Then, 7,200 kn m cubed divided by ei. Ayan. So, ito, plug and play lang talaga. Now, what's more challenging would be problem 2. Determine the slope and deflection at the mid-span. Now, for this problem, you can use any classical method, uh, double integration method, area moment method. But, let's try to solve this just by using superposition. Now, if we want to determine the slope and deflection at the mid-span, then what we can do is we can transmit this load. Ililipat natin siya sa mid-span. So, essentially, 100 kN, ilalagay ko sa gitna. Ayan. So, this distance would be equal to kalahati ng 6, which is 3 meters. Ayan. But since nilipat ko siya, then I have to also establish the moment it causes dito sa mid-span. Diba? Since I cannot just transfer this load automatically. So, kunin natin yung moment dito sa mid-span. We have 100 kN. Then, this distance is equal to 3 meters. Ayan. So, 100 multiplied by 3 meters. Tapos, clockwise yung rotation about this point. We would have 300 kilonewton meter. Ayan. Then, acting clockwise. So, after transferring the load, then we can analyze the beam na parang ganito na lang. Ayan. Uh, this is 3 meters, then 100 kilonewton. Then, we have a moment load of 300 kilonewton meter. Ayan. 
Now, just take note that you can do this if the load is moved closer to the fixed end. Bale, hindi mo siya pwedeng gawin if, for example, andito yung initial load. Ayan, let's say lang, merong 100k end dyan. Tapos, ililipat mo siya to the right. Hindi yan pwede. Since yung movement niya is toward the free end. So, just take note lang. Because, for this, uh, for this case, we can just readily apply PA squared over 6EI multiplied by 3L minus A. Ayan, bale, hindi siya pwedeng i-move dyan. Ayan. But, this load may be moved to the left, closer to the fixed support. Yan yung key consideration dyan. Sige, so, let's first obtain the slope. Uh, the slope at the midspan. Ito na yung midspan. Ayan. So, we have this formula para sa moment. Ayan, ML over EI. So, for the slope at the midspan, we have ML over EI, then plus PL squared divided by 2 EI. Para naman sa concentrated load. So, same lang dito. Ayan. Now, take note na yung L natin nagbago na. We have 3 meters. So, the moment is 300 times the length 3 divided by EI. Then, our load is 100 pa rin times L squared divided by 2 EI. We would get 1350. So, yung unit niya is KN M squared divided by EI. Ayan. So, ito yung slope. Now, for the deflection naman, deflection at the midspan, we would use, since nasa dulo na yan, yung 100, then we can use PL cubed over 3 EI. Then, for the moment, we have MX squared over 2 EI, or simply ML squared over 2 EI. So, add na lang natin yung dalawa. For the moment, ML squared over 2 EI, then plus PL cubed divided by 3 EI. Ayan. So, plug na lang yung values. So, 300 times 3 squared over 2. Tapos, uh, plus 100 times 3 cubed divided by 3. We would get 2 to 50. So, 2 to 50 kilonewton m cubed then divided by EI. Ayan. So, for this video, ito lang muna. Then, for the next one, we will try to solve this problem. What if we have a varying load? Music